So the next topic that I want to hit on before we jump into the NFL stuff is the Heisman finalists were announced the other night. And, I, you know, it's, it's tough for me to get super excited about some of these but I, I, some of the stuff I just do not understand. There were three names that were left off of this that I was just a little bit shocked about that, it, that at least one of them did not make this, right? And let me go on and read off the Heisman finalists, and then I want you to tell me your opinion on, on who you think should have been there. Number one here is Bryce Young, uh, quarterback at Alabama. C.J. Stroud, quarterback at Ohio State. Aiden Hutchison, the uh, defensive end from Michigan. And... Kenny Pickett, the quarterback from Pitt. Now, all of those guys have had fantastic seasons. But do we believe that... It, it, never mind, never mind. Let me get your opinion. Who do you think should have been on there instead of some of these other guys? How's, how's that? Uh, I mean, I, I think Matt Corral should have definitely been on there. I, I don't think it's close, by the way. People are going to look at his numbers, but they're not going to look... This is the problem with the Heisman votes, by the way. Is is they justify it with numbers, but they obviously haven't watched games of everybody in the country. They're just watching the big team. That's it. Because his numbers dropped off considerably the second half of the season, but he played that entire second half hurt. He never quit. He never stopped. Should get absolute credit for that. And he also played without all of the skilled players and many, many, many of his offensive linemen they were also hurt. He made up just so much of the offense that Ole Miss did. He made up all of their success by himself. Without him, I don't think they make a bowl game. And I think we have seen, if you don't have Bryce Young, any quarterback in, in Alabama's uh, class, they, they might not have made the playoffs, but there wouldn't have been a big drop-off. Yeah, I don't think that they would have been uh, – they wouldn't have made the playoff. But I do think they would have still been successful. Whereas at Ole Miss, I don't know that you you get near this level of success no, without Matt Corral. They, they won ten games, okay, and which has never um, been done at Ole Miss in a regular season. At Ole Miss, this is the first time ever. That's a huge deal for them, and and I don't think that they win five games without him. Yeah, I don't think you're wrong. The other name that I had written, well, I've got two other ones. We'll we'll toss in Will Anderson. I would have put him in over Aiden Hutchison. The stats are different, but Will Anderson is an absolute monster. The fact that he was not on here, but I think a part of that has to do with the fact that Bryce Young made the list instead. So That's some it. of those you can't, you can't have two guys from Alabama last year and two guys from Alabama this year and expect to win it. Like, you're yeah. just not going to do that. No, that's, not, that's not how this thing works. Now, the other one was Kenneth Walker III from Michigan State. Again, this is a guy that transferred in and was an absolute monster for them. He is a large reason why that – because that, that defense is pretty terrible. I mean, it's at least the passing defense. Obviously, they are a gritty football team. But Kenneth Walker seemed like the heart and soul of that football team, and the numbers that he put up – are a big reason why they won 10 games in the regular season. This is a team that the over-under for the season of season win totals was four and a half, and they won 10 ball games, and a lot of it was because of him. And just to toss out the Ohio State game out there, I, I mean, what are we talking about having C.J. Stroud in here over a guy like that? No, C.J. doesn't belong at all. I mean, at all, and I know that there are going to be people in here that are Ohio State fans that think we're just taking shots or whatever, but he he just – which one of these doesn't look like the other, all right? I, I don't think there's a single number, Ohio State fan, by the way, that would that would agree or that would disagree that C.J. Stroud is not even maybe the third best player on that offense. Like, he may not be the fourth best. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think he is, but also, you know, I'm not in that locker room, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a, that is true. I just – C.J. Stroud is a good quarterback. I do not Sorry. believe that he is uh, at the same level as Kenneth Walker or Matt Corral, or but in uh, obviously different positions, all that good stuff. I get it. Uh, different systems as well. I just, and that's not just to completely crap on C.J. Stroud. Like Aiden Hutchison jumping in this, it's tough for a defensive end to get in. I understand that, and he had what fourteen sacks on the season, and all that good stuff. But if you look, no, but I don't. Care. He yeah. he had a ton of that at the very have end. We usually have a, a defensive guy every year that, that gets in there. So that doesn't concern me or bother me. Yeah. So, 
Uh, it's just, it was a little surprising. What, uh, what about Kenny Pickett being on this list? I'm okay with it. I think his numbers just fine. And he's got the same argument that Matt Corral has. Yeah. Okay. I, I think without him, that team is not close to being good. That's it. He, he did a very, uh, he did a good Joe Burrow impression this year. Uh, because he, he was not great for his first, what, six, seven, eight years that he's been on campus or however. He's been there for a really long time. Came back, I believe this was his sixth season. He came back because he was a COVID senior, and he just exploded. I mean, he he had never had a season even comparable that would have led you to believe that this was even possible. And and yet here he is. So yeah, I, I like Kenny Pickett being in there. It's perfectly fine. But man, it just it kind of lets me know that it, when you look at the Heisman voting breakdown, there are guys that used to be like they do not take anybody's vote away so there are guys that do not even cover the sport anymore that still have heisman votes like it's people that are so far removed from watching the sport of football or at least the sport of college football that they they just don't know what's actually happening in this game and that's why you've got guys like matt corral and kenneth walker the third and whatnot that don't get a shot that's why you're gonna have that's why i see yeah and that's why i see this shroud's there is because, oh, well, he's the Ohio State quarterback, and Ohio State was really good this year, so he's got to be there, right? Yeah. Like, these are these are obviously, clearly people that do not watch the sport. Yes, and that's, that's what annoys me about it. That is what annoys me. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.